Step 5. Exporting IFC model to Revit structures and importing the modified Revit model back to ARCHICAD. In this step, we will export the structural model of our ARCHICAD design project to Revit structure using the IFC open standard format. We will also import the modified model back to ARCHICAD. Let's see a quick example on how to export the structural elements of this office building project in IFC format. Let's open the 3D view to get an overview of the size and design complexity of this office building project. Activate the next 8.5.1 IFC 3D model to display the whole project model in the 3D window. We need the bare structural model this time so let's hide the unnecessary building parts. Open the Layer Settings dialog using the document Layers Layer Settings menu command. Choose the structural layer combination from the layer combinations on the left side of the dialog. This combination hides all architectural related layers in the project. Click OK and check the results. Now only the structural elements are shown, but there are still unnecessary parts visible such as windows, doors, and wall and floor finish layers. Activate the view, Elements in 3D view, Filter elements in 3D menu command. Uncheck the window and door types then click OK. Curtain walls have dedicated layers but windows and doors don't have their own layer in ARCHICAD so we can't hide them as a layer. This filter elements in 3D dialog allows you to hide element types which are not required in 3D. Activate the document Partial Structure Display menu command. Select the Core Only Radio button and click OK. This function allows you to show only the load-bearing core structures with one click. Instead of filtering all the complex and composite structures out of the entire model one by one. Activate the next IFC structural 3D model preset view. This preset view shows the 3D model from another point of view with the previously set options. Activate the next IFC structural floor plan view to return to the floor plan. Let's export the IFC content now. Activate the file, Save As command. Select IFC 2x3 from the file format drop down list. Enter COL080501 structuralmodel.ifc for the file name and click Save. It takes just a few seconds to synchronize library objects. The IFC 2x Edition 3 Options dialog appears, providing various options to fine tune the IFC information and configure the design data to best fit the necessary requirements. Please refer to the IFC guide for further information about the details and functions of the IFC export dialog. You will find this guide in the Chapter 8 folder. You do not need to understand the exact meaning and details of all the possible settings and configurations. These will be configured depending on the application and exact purpose for which the IFC design database will be used afterwards. The Units page allows you to define the length, angle, area, and volume units of the IFC database. Select millimeter for length, degree for angle, square meter for area, and cubic meter for volume unit, and click Next to proceed to the next page of the dialog. The export page specifies the way certain objects are handled. You can export the project using various site and BREP options. 
Uncheck the door slash window as BREP checkbox on the export page. A BREP is a geometric object that is specified by its boundary faces. With this checkbox, we can exclude the doors and windows from the IFC database. Normally, it's better to disable these flags because the BREP geometry is used only for visualization purposes in most structural applications. Enabling these results in a bigger IFC file. However, it is recommended that you keep the object slash lamp as BREP checkbox checked, since there could be library parts representing structural elements like stairs, columns, beams, etc. in the ARCHICAD project. Don't forget to activate the Follow Partial Structure Setting option. This will filter the project database so that only the structural core skins of composite structures and complex profiles will be included in the export process. Skip the Custom Property Set page as well as the Exterior page and keep everything disabled. The information entered in the Person and Organization page can help the identification of the project, however, you can skip this page in this exercise. On the Miscellaneous page, please keep the default settings. It is recommended to always keep the IFC Global Unique IDs option enabled. When exporting a new IFC file, the IFC GUIDs in the model will be retained rather than a new set created. Enabling this setting is the default option and should be used to maintain a consistent model if you are using other IFC based tools. Once you are ready with the settings, click the OK button to proceed. ARCHICAD will start the IFC database export and will process all project elements according to the previously defined configuration. The software application used by engineers and consultants can easily open this IFC file if the application they use also supports this open standard. This means that engineers can perform a thorough structural analysis and then start designing the load-bearing structures using the IFC file for initial design information. Let's see how we can open this file in Revit structure. Select and import COL080501 structural model in Revit structure or open it with any IFC viewer application. If you don't have these, just follow along with the steps in the movie. As you can see, the imported ARCHICAD elements have been converted to intelligent Revit elements. Let's suppose the structural engineer has modified our model in Revit structure. For example, he has changed the wall and slab thicknesses, column sizes, and so on. Let's open the modified model in ARCHICAD. Activate the file, open menu command, check mark the launch a new instance of ARCHICAD radio button on the open file dialog, Select the IFC file type and open the COL852 Revit Structural Model IFC file. ARCHICAD has successfully reopened the IFC building database, which was saved in Revit structure, and is ready to continue the work. Right click and select Show All in 3D from the context menu to see the 3D model. As you can see, the IFC model has been converted perfectly and opened in ARCHICAD after the Revit structure environment. You can compare the imported model with the original one. The structural engineer has changed the size of almost all concrete columns on the basement level. To save time, we will use these 3D columns instead of modifying them in the original model. ARCHICAD allows a round-trip conversion. Using this, we will replace the original ARCHICAD elements with the modified IFC elements. 